Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to my youtube channel biology articles and mcqs today we are going to start the cure of kidney failure that is dialysis dialysis is basically a procedure or a process that is used when the kidney normal kidney is not functioning normally means it is not performing its functions basically the function of the kidney is to uh, to filter out the waste products or toxins that are present in your body or in your blood uh, the, the kidney uh, is uh, helping the filtering of uh, that substances but when due to any reason uh, the kidney is uh, not functioning or uh, not performing its function properly then we are subjected to dialysis dialysis is uh, basically the alternative process for the filtering of the waste products from the body here you are shown that uh, there is a normal kidney and there is diseased kidney we have uh, seen previously uh, the uh, uh, that why the kidney is uh, become diseased or uh, uh, when uh, uh, or uh, what are the causes of a uh, diseased kidney you can uh, see the previous lecture if you have not studied it yet and, and, and if uh, the, due to any reason the kidney is diseased and then we use uh, the process uh, that is called dialysis basically there are two main types of dialysis hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis we will discuss both uh, types of dialysis in detail one by one the first type of dialysis is hemodialysis hemo means blood and dialysis means cleaning so this word is referred to the cleaning of blood because it is now um, the used uh, uh, this process will now use for the cleaning of blood or uh, uh, clearing the metabolic waste from your body here is a machine that is shown uh, and this is a basic machine that is used in the hemodialysis and this machine is called uh, hemodialysis machine through this machine the hemodialysis is done in that person in which the kidney is not functioning properly let's start uh, the proper mechanism that how the hemodialysis is carried out first of all uh, um, we will uh, now about that uh, what are the components main components that will be used in the hemodialysis here is a uh, cylinder that is called a dialyzer and uh, this cylinder or dialyzer is present in the machine is present in this machine dialysis machine this dialyzer is also called artificial kidney because it will now perform the function uh, all the function that a normal kidney perform the second thing is these bottles and these bottles contain a fluid that is known as a dialysis fluid the dialysis fluid will contain special component of salts and sugars that will help uh, out in the cleaning of the blood and the third uh, thing that uh, that is main is that person whose uh, uh, blood has to be cleaned let's start the procedure first of all uh, the, uh, the dialyzer is uh, is is a cylinder and it is separated by a membrane and that membrane is mainly um as per, it will perform the function of semi permeable membrane you know that the semi permeable membrane allow some of the molecules to pass through it but not all so uh, the semi permeable membrane or simply a membrane that is present in this uh, cylinder or dialyzer will allow uh, small molecules such as uh, urea or potassium uh, that are excess in our body or Uh, that are excess uh, that are present in excess amount in our blood but it will not allow the, the proteins or amino acids or lipids uh, that are present in our blood to pass out so here uh, this membrane is separating this dialyzer into two components one side is shown in blue color and the other side is shown in red color Uh, with the blue color side there are attached two bottles or two cylinders that is containing dialysis fluid in this bottle the there is fresh um, in this bottle there is fresh dialysis fluid 
and this uh, dialysis fluid will enter into the dialyzer through this opening at the same time the person uh, uh, doctor done a small surgery or small cut to a person and attach the tube uh, that um, to the arm of the that person and the other end of the tube will be attached to dialyzer and this tube will then suck the blood and put into the and transfer into the other portion of the dialyzer so one portion of the dialyzer is containing blood and the other portion of the dialyzer is containing dialysis fluid when the blood enters into the dialyzer the small parts such as urea or potassium or excess amount of salts will pass from its high concentration means from the blood towards the low concentration means dialysis fluid and in this way Uh, the blood will be cleaned now the portion uh, the, the proteins uh, or any uh, the bigger or high molecular weight amount uh, amounts molecule will not pass through this blood here this uh, movement is in this way from the dialysis fluid now the dialysis fluid is containing the salts and sugars that were present in our uh, uh, excess amount in blood or the waste that were uh, present in the blood now this uh, uh, dialyzer uh, 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 in this dialysis fluid will move into the other bottle here and now this dialysis fluid is containing all amount of waste that was present in the blood after cleaning the blood will move from this Uh, from this opening again enter into the body in this way this uh, small procedure of hemodialysis works means first the blood enter into the dialyzer after cleaning it will enter again into the blood the second process of the dialysis is peritoneal dialysis peritoneal dialysis is called peritoneal uh, peritoneal because in in this procedure um, a membrane that is peritoneum or uh, that is called peritoneum or it is uh, simply called peritoneal lining will act as semi permeable membrane and this peritoneal lining as you know that it is a, a lining of abdomen so the lining of abdomen will uh, um, will help in the filtration of all the waste from your blood in this procedure there are the same two cylinders and the cylinder is again containing a solution uh, that is called dialysis solution or a simply dialysis fluid the clean dialysis fluid will enter into the body and um, it will flow into the abdominal cavity or simply peritoneal cavity after um, uh, moving it into there will be the filtration of uh, waste means the waste will enter into this dialysis uh, fluid and uh, and uh, and then this uh, waste dialysis fluid will move into um, move out of the body here you have uh, uh, you, you can see that there is a single tube here that is entering into the uh, abdomen and this single tube is called catheter these are the, these like of like tubes means one end of the tube will enter into the body and other end will remain out of the body here you have shown this um, this end is in the abdomen and this end is out of the abdomen now this end is again connected to two tubes that are flowing into the bags of the dialysis solution means that there will only a one tube in this procedure that will enter into the body but in the hemodialysis you see that there are two tubes separate tubes that enter in, into the body and one is carrying the blood out of the body and the other is carrying the blood into the body while in the peritoneal dialysis there is a single tube means uh, there uh, will be a single cut uh, placed on the abdomen 
and there will be a single tube that is called catheter will enter into the body and two dialysis solutions or two bags of dialysis solution will help all the procedure so i hope and that you learn all about the hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis if you like this video share this video with your friends thank you so much